Hello, my besties. Konnichiwa. Hi, gozaimasu. Okay? Shin yu tachi no TSMA. Koshiki. Yochubu. Channel e yukosu. Watashi no namaicha. TSMA pangilinya. Atara. Atara des. Kona video. O hajimete. Mirubai yai. Bai wa Kodoku suru kotu O wasore naide kadasai Kongo no bedeyo no beru Chuki o korechu shite I'm gonna use this Gucci for primer, right? Kono bedeyo ga kinita Bye, wash it in the comment. Shiti kodasai. Kono video o shinshetsu. Ne kyoku shite kodasai. Koningu shite korete harigato. Alright, my besties. Good, good evening, a pleasant good evening to all of you, all right? If you are new watching this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, share, and comment below. And, of course, subscribe. Keisha, that's what we are going to talk about. Is a member of a professional class of women in Japan, whose traditional occupation is to entertain men right in modern times particularly at businessmen's parties all right like for example in the restaurants like that sorry about my voice tea houses okay so i am using this gucci primer before we apply our makeup so my best is if you are wondering you know the japanese word geisha literally means it is an art person so this is the very valentino by valentino for our foundation it is an art person Singing, dancing, acting, playing the samisen, okay? A, a lute-like instrument like that. So, they're indispensable talents for a geisha, along with the ability, you know, to make conversation. Okay. So, many geisha are also adept at like flower arranging stuff like that all right performing the tea ceremony or calligraphy sorry about my voice all right all right my bestie geisha okay it's also known as Geiko. Geisha or Geiko. In like Kyoto, Japan, and Kanazawa or Geigi. These are a class of female Japanese performers, okay? Performing artists. That's what they call them. Sorry about my voice and entertainers trained in like traditional Japanese performing arts you know arts styles like you know the dance music okay and singing also singing you know as well as being proficient all right so this is just our foundation you know, proficient conversationalist and host. You know, they host parties like that. 
So their distinct appearance, you know, is characterized by long trailing kimono, okay? Traditional hairstyles like you when you you think about, you know, like they raise their hair like that, traditional hairstyles and Oshiroi, you know, makeup. Okay, Keisha entertain at parties known as Oza Shiki, often for the entertainment of wealthy clientele. There you go. And as well as performing on stage or at the festivals. Sorry, my, my voice is really no good. So, do you know, my best is who's the most popular or famous geisha in history? Her name is Miniko Iwasaki. Miniko Iwasaki. That was, that's her name, Miniko Iwasaki. So, Iwasaki Miniko. The birth name, Masako Tanaka. That's the birth name of the famous geisha. Born on November 2, 1949. 1949. It's a Japanese businesswoman. All right. The author and former geisha. There you go, my besties. So Iwasaki was the most famous geisha in Japan until her sudden retirement at the age of 29. All right. The modern geisha are not prostitutes. The modern geishas are not prostitutes. Okay? So this misconception originated due to the conflation of Japanese courtesans or the oiran. They call it oiran. Oiran reenactors. So the extant Tayu and prostitutes or historically also wore, wore kimono. Okay. I'm sorry about my voice. Alright, so the first female geisha appeared in 1751 with geisha, okay? Before the, that time, you know, being male performers who entertain guests right. within the pleasure quarters there you go my best is so only later did the profession become become mainly characterized by female workers all right all right, my best is so I'm gonna add this under eye concealer. It's called Bye Bye Under Eye. So my best is why do geishas hide their face? Do you know? So the main role of geisha, okay, is to entertain, okay, and serve the guest. So they use the thick white makeup, which we don't have. I don't have the thick white makeup. So that's to hide their feelings in order to keep the guest happy, okay, entertained, and not offended, okay. So they hide their feelings. So although, you know, electricity was not 
you know it doesn't exist in ancient times geisha culture you know including you know the, their costumes okay have existed since ancient times they were wearing already costumes okay so a number of terms are used to describe the profession and community okay that geisha both live and work in i don't know if you can um, hear me clearly i'm really struggling about talking right now okay so please bear with me so my best is though you know age has its own distinct meaning and translation some are used you know interchangeably to describe the geisha community okay on the whole you know you know such as like hanamachi and karyukai okay So Geiko on the other hand is a traditional term for geisha with a slightly different meaning. Okay, Geiko is used okay. It is a term used to describe geisha in Western Japan. Okay. That's how they call it in Western Japan. So including Kyoto, Japan, and Kanaza, Kanazawa, you know, this term really directly translates as woman of art. And is part of the Kyoto dialect, you know, is spoken by geisha in Kyoto and Western Japan. Geisha is literally artist. Okay, it's a performing artist. So this is a concealer. Okay. So, performing artist or artisan, that's what they call a traditional female hostess, entertainer, and a performing artist. So, the word geisha consists of two, the kanji, gay, okay, meaning art, and also the sha, meaning person, or doer, okay. As the person or the word. Gokagai, you know, five flowers, five flower towns, five geisha districts of Kyoto. It's called Gion Kobu and Gion Higashi Pontocho. Uh, Miyagawa, Cho, and Kamishi, Shiken. So Kyoto previously had like six. Hanamachi. With Shimabara, you know, formerly a red light and geisha district. Still being considered an active Hanamachi in the 1970s. So my best is in the present day, Shimabara is active only as a host, or, you know, for Tayu, okay, who are considered to be entertainers 
of a similar kind to Geisha. You know, Bata district is still not considered to be an active Hanamachi. Uh, sorry, my bells is my voice. So Hanamachi, which is called the flower, flower town, okay? It is the district where a geisha works. You know, is affiliated and potentially leaves. Okay, so geisha generally do not work outside of their hanamachi. Though customers, okay, may call them, all right, for like a special occasions. Okay, you know, in other districts. So, or on like ex excursions like that. However, you know, far away to places outside the Kariukai. The Hangyoku, for example, half jibble, okay, is a term for apprentice geisha. You know. In some regions of Japan, such as Tokyo, Tokyo. So that the term Hangyoku, it means half jewel. It's referring to one of the terms where a geisha's like wages or jewel, jewel money. Or Kagai, you know, flower towns is what we call it. So an alternative term for the districts in which geisha live and work interchangeably, you know, with Karyukai. Right. So my best is Karyukai, flower and willow world. So that's the meaning of that. You know, the community or society, society. That geisha inhabit. All right, so in the present day, you know, this term refers solely to the world of Geisha, as well as the few remaining Tayu, okay? So, before the, de the decline, you know, and eventual disappearance of Oiran. Oiran is the term Karyukai referred to the entertainment districts okay or they call it the world right of both geisha and count you know the courtesans you know with or oiran acting as the flowers okay ostensibly for their beautiful and like showy appearance Right, my best is so the geisha being the sat subtler, you know, willows. All right, all righty. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of these. Contour. So the most common term for an apprentice of geisha, you know, translating to a woman of dance, is called mi narai. 
meaning of learning by observation. Alright, so the second typical stage of a micro training. Alright, is and the step that always follows that of she she komi. Okay. So a minarai wears a version of a makois micos I mean outfit with an a shorter OB, okay, shorter kimono sleeves. Shorter ones. And more hair accessories kanzai shi kanza kanza shi all right so minarai jaya during the minarai period okay is an apprentice you know apprentice will receive training through one like a specific tea house so they will have a training training over there so this one is referred to as the minarai jaya minarai jaya so it is mizu shukbai okay it's called the water um, business, a UP mystic term used to describe entertainment and red light districts in Japan. Okay, including the worlds of kabuki actors and geisha. So Uchaya, you know, it's called the tea house Uchaya. The geisha may entertain at their Okia restaurants or inns. They will usually entertain guests at a tea house. Okay, my best is. So a geisha lodging house, okay, okia, that's a geisha lodging house. All geisha must be registered to okia, okay, though not all geisha live in their okia day to day. So ik okia are usually run by women, you know, many of whom, all right, are ex-geishas. They were ex-geishas. You know, they were ex-geishas themselves. So geisha may entertain guests within their okia. All right, my business. So, Uza Shiki is a term of, for a geisha's engagements, which may take part or, or you know, the whole of an evening. All right, my besties. So, you know, the term Uza Shiki combines the name of a banqueting, like a banquet, okay, banqueting room. Zashiki. Okay, okay. So, you know, and also the honorific prefix O. Okay, Ch you know, changing the meaning to a term, okay. Exclusively referring to the engagements, okay. A geisha takes... I'm just gonna blend this. So, 
shikumi is what we call preparation. Shukumi is preparation or training. Okay, this is a typical first stage of Michael's training. So Shukumi, Shukumi wear kimoto, kimono, you know, though they do not wear the, like the elaborate outfit, the hairstyle and makeup of a fully fledged Maiko. So today, okay, it means distant outings, okay, geisha and engagement, okay, not held in licensed rest restaurants or tea houses. Okay, or a geisha's own, like, um, hanamachi, okay. You know, my best is in the early stages of Japanese history, you know. Sabukuru, okay, sabukuru, you know, that's the term for um, serving girls, okay, that's the name of that, so we're mostly wandering, okay, girls whose families had been displaced by war, All right, so I'm just gonna add here, okay, so some of these saburuku, Saburuku, okay, girls, they offered sexual services for money, okay, while others with a better education made a living by entertaining at high, like, uh, high class social gatherings like that. If I'm not mistaken, you know, that geisha nowadays, they call it japayuki. That's what they call it. All right. So after the imperial court okay, moved the capital to Heian Kyo or Kyoto in, you know, aspects of now traditional Japanese art forms and aesthetic, you know, ideals. They began to develop, which would um, later contribute to, to the you know, conditions under under which, you know, the geisha profession emerge. So skilled female performers, you know, such as Shirabioski or Shirabioshi, you know, dancers um, thrived under the imperial court, okay, creating the traditions of female dance, okay, and performance that would um, later lead to both the development of the geisha and the kabuki, kabuki actors or actresses. All right, my besties. I'm just gonna add concealer. I am in um, contour on my nose, okay? So my best is during the Heian period or the Heian period, you know, ideals surrounding relationships with women, you know, sexual or otherwise. Excuse me. You know, it didn't emphasize emphasize fidelity with marriage okay with marriage within the Heian court you know considered a relatively like casual arrangement you 
you know, men were not constrained to be faithful to their wives, which is not good, <laughs> unfortunately, you know. So with with the ideal wife, okay, instead being a modest mother, mother who manage the affairs of the house. You know, it's like following the Confucian customs, okay? We're in love, okay? Had secondary importance. It's not good. You know, to the other roles I wife fulfilled within the marriage. Wow. So as such courtesans, you know, who provided not only sexual like services or enjoyment, okay, but also romantic attachment, attachment and artistic entertainment. So, they were seen as both as an outlet for men, men and common companions. Hey, my besties. If it's me, I don't like that. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, so, if you open your Bible, you know, at the Deuteronomy uh, 23, 17 to 18. Deuteronomy 23, 17 to 18. Okay, it says, None of the daughters of Israel can be a cult prostitute, and none of the sons of Israel shall be a cult prostitute. So you shall not bring the fee of a prostitute or the wages of a dog into the house of the Lord your God in payment for any vow okay for both of these are an abomination to the Lord that Jesus doesn't like that okay abomination to the Lord your God alright Also in Proverbs 6, chapter 6, 24 to 26. Just kind of clean this real quick. So the Bible said, To preserve you from the evil woman, from the smooth tongue of the adulteress woman. Alright. Do not desire her beauty in your heart and do not let do not let her capture you with her eyelashes. Alright. For the price of a prostitute is only a loft of bread. But a married woman hunts down a precious life. All right. So we just have to like blend this, okay? You know, the role and the status of the courtesans as artistic and romantic entertainers. You know, this was a tradition that Geisha came to inherit 
with the basic like um, art forms of entertaining guests okay so think about that one so through like song okay dance conversation all right being employed and adapted to like contemporary tastes okay by Keisha All right, my besties. First Corinthians chapter 6, 9 to 11 said that, Or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of the Lord? Or God do not be deceived okay neither the sexually immoral nor idolaters okay nor adulterers okay nor men who practice homosexuality nor thieves nor the greedy take note it says greedy nor drunkards, okay, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. That's what the Bible said. But you were washed. You were sanctified. <clears throat> Excuse me. You were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. And by the Spirit of our God. So around the turn, you know, around the turn of the 18th century, you know, the first geisha or forerunners of geisha performing for guests, you know, of the pleasure quarters, okay, they began to, like, appear. That was in 18th century, okay. So these, these entertainers, okay, excuse me, who provided like songs dances they developed okay from a number of sources all right my besties in Matthew chapter 5, 27 to 20, it says, It says, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. Okay. But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful hearts or lust for intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart. All right. So some geisha, okay, my best is, 
or something of like traveling entertainers okay going from a party to party to party okay where men who would entertain the customers of courtesans okay through song and dance <laughs> through song and dance So at the same time, you know, the forerunners of female geisha, okay, the teenage, they call it ador adoriko, okay, dancing girls, developed, okay, they were trained and hired as chaste dancers for hire, okay, within this, like, pleasure quarters, all right. All right, my besties. Jude one seven. All right, I'm gonna use this Jacqueline Hill, okay? The red one, it's called Living My Best. You know, just as Sodom and Gomorrah, my best is. And the surrounding cities, remember? Which likewise, they indulge in like sexual immorality and they pursued a natural desire. They serve, you know, for example, uh, you know, as an example by under undergoing a punishment of eternal fire. You know, further further still okay some courtesans whose contracts within the pleasure quarters okay had ended you know they choose to stay on like to provide musical entertainment they sing they dance you know to guests making use of this of their skills you know they had formerly like developed which is a part of their job. All right, my besties. My best is in Galatians five nineteen to twenty one said it says that um now the works of the flesh are evident okay of you know the works of the flesh are evident sexual like immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, and enmity, enmity um, strife, fits of anger, hate, jealousy, rivalries, you know, dissensions, envy, jealousy, envy, divisions, okay, drunk, drunkenness, orgies, and things like this, you know. The Lord said, I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Alright, my besties.
All right, so by 1800, okay, the profession of geisha, all right, was understood to be almost entirely female and was established as a distinct role in its own right. So, however, my best is geisha were like, you know, were throughout various points, okay? within the Edo period and able to work outside of the pleasure quarters, you know. So being affected by reforms like that aimed, excuse me, at either limiting or like shutting down the pleasure quarters, okay. So the these reforms you know were often inconsistent okay and were were repealed repealed at various times okay so i'm gonna add this heart on it's red so my best is My best is open your Bible to um first Kings fourteen twenty four. It says and there were also male cult prostitutes in the land. They did according to all to according to all the abominations of the nations, okay, nations that the Lord drove out before the people of Israel you know once established as an independent profession a number of like edicts okay were then introduced in order to protect the business all right the business of the courtesans and you know separate the two professions So geisha were firstly forbidden from selling sex, you know, though many could continue to do so. So if, for example, a courtesan accused a geisha of stealing her customers, <coughs> excuse me, and business of sex, and then, and the entertainment, okay? So an official, official investigation was opened. To open an as a special investigation, you know, with the potential for a geisha to lose her right to practice the profession. Profession. So my best is Romans 1, 26 to, I mean chapter 26, 2 to 1. So as the Lord said, for this reason, for this reason, God gave them up to the dishonorable passions. You know, for their women exchange natural relations, you know, for those that are contrary to nature. <clears throat> oh, 
And the men likewise gave up natural relations with women and were consumed with passion, okay, for one another. So men committing the shameless acts with, excuse me, with men and receiving in themselves the due penalty, penalty for their error. And since they did not see fit to the knowledge, you know, God, God gave them up to a debased mind, okay, to do what ought not to be done. They were filled with all manner, they were filled with all manner of like unrighteousness, okay, evil, bad doings, covetousness, and also malice. So they are full of jealousy, pride, envy, murder, strife, liars, okay, deceit, maliciousness, all right? So they are like slanderers, okay, they love gossiping, also haters of God, insolent, haughty, boastful. Inventors of evil like that. Disobedient. Disobedient to parents. All right. Proverbs 6, verse 32 to 33. Okay. It says that he who commits adultery, adultery lacks sense. He who does not, okay, he who does it destroys himself. He who does it destroys himself. He will get wounds and dishonor and his disgrace, you know, will not be wiped away. Wow. You know, geisha were forbidden from wearing particularly like flashy kimono or hairpins. So both of which were hallmarks of high-ranking courtesans who were considered to be a part of the upper classes. Just like the, a part of their costume. All right, my besties, please open your Bible um, to uh, Romans, Romans 1, 26 to 27. And it says, for this reason, God gave them up to dishonorable passions. All right. For their women exchange natural relations for those that that are contrary to nature. All 
All right, so. And men, okay, likewise gave up natural relations with women and were consumed with passion for one another. So men committing shameless, like what I said earlier, acts with men and receiving in themselves the due penalty for their errors. All right, my besties. So despite their official, official status, okay, as lower class entertainers, okay, you know, geisha continue to grow. They continue to grow in popularity. Okay, my besties. So my besties, while the courtesans existed to meet the needs of the upper class men, who could not respectably, you know, be seen to visit a lower class prostitute, okay, and and prostitutes, you know, met the sexual needs of the lower, the lower class men. You know, so this, my best is left a gap of skilled and refined entertainers okay for the emerging merchant <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> classes who though wealthy okay were unable to access courtesans all right due to their social class all right So my best is in the Revelation twenty one eight it says there but as for the cowardly the faithless the detestable okay as for the murderers all right the sexually immorals um the sorcerers, okay, idolaters, and all liars, okay. Their portion will be in the lake, the lake that burns with fire and sulfur. Sulfur is like when there's a volcano eruption, that ash, that's a sulfur, which is the second death okay my besties all right
All right, my besties. You see the status of courtesans, okay? As celebrities, okay? And arbiters of fashion had also waned considerably. You know, it's it's the art forms they they practice, you know, had become like stiffly cherished, like relics of the upper classes. Alright. As had their manner of speech, okay, and their increasingly gaudy like appearance. In contrast, okay, much geisha or what we call the town geisha had begun to like successfully established themselves, okay, as worldly cutting edge. All right. They're like worldly cutting edge entertainers. They are more like artistically daring than their cloistered endangered cousins, okay? And able to come and go, all right? And dress, dress as they please, all right? Looking for the epic, all right, eyeliner. So my besties, my besties, let's open your Bible. Let's read Proverbs 6, verse 20 to 35. It says, My son, keep your father's commandment. Okay? Keep your father's commandment. And forsake not your mother's teaching. Bind them on your heart always, okay? Tie them around your neck when you walk. Alright. And they will lead you when you lie down. Just I am using these nicks, okay? For my eyebrow. So it says, when you lie down, they will watch over you. And when you awake, okay, they will talk with you. For the commandment is a lamp and the teaching a, a light and a reproofs, okay, of discipline are the way of life. You know, to preserve you from from to preserve you from evil woman okay from the smooth tongue of the adulteress okay let's continue this with this refreshing diet pepsi all right all right let's drink to that my best is So, I'm gonna use this NYX, okay, to line my eyebrows. So my best is this, this popularity, you know, was then increased by the introduction of various laws, alright? Now this in, is intended, you know, to clamp down on and regulate the lower classes all right let's do this all right in particular the emerging merchant classes who had like established themselves already as the premier patrons of 
geisha. So my best is both, okay? Both had over time, okay? Come to hold much of the purchasing power. All right, within the Japan, within the country of Japan. All right, with their status as a lower class, allowing them a degree of freedom in their tastes, you know, of dress entertainment like that in contrast to upper class all right so in contrast to upper families okay upper class families who had little choice but to appear in a manner deemed respectable you know respectable to their status All right, as the tastes of the merchant classes for, for kabuki and geisha, it became wild, wildly, like, um, widely popular, okay? So the laws introduced to effectively neuter, okay, the appearance and tastes of geisha and their um, customers, okay, were past so my best is this however okay had the adverse effects of leading leading to the rise in popularity okay of a more refined of a more refined and love subversive you know excuse me aesthetical you know senses within those those um those classes all right you know further i alienating courtesans okay and their patrons okay <clears throat> from like popularity and you know the contemporary taste all right so the introduction of laws on dress okay only first you know um it furthered the popularity of geisha as refined and kind of like more fashionable okay companions for for men so as a result you know over time <coughs> excuse me courtesans of both higher and lower ranks okay <coughs> excuse me they began to fall out they began to fall out of fashion okay they were seen as gaudy and old old fashioned okay so i guess we're almost done i'm just gonna add this epic eyeliner okay this is from nyx Open your Bible, you know, 
is we will read the book of Joshua, Joshua chapter 6, 17 to 25. You know, it says there, and the city and all that is within it shall be devoted to the Lord for destruction. It says that only, oops, it says that only Rahab, the prostitute, and all who are with her in her house shall live. You know why? Because she hid the messengers whom we sent. But you keep yourselves from the things, you know, devoted to destruction. Last, okay, when you have devoted them. Last, when you have devo devoted them, you take any of the devoted things, okay, and make the camp, okay, of Israel a thing for destruction. Alright, so let's add more of this, okay. And it says there, and bring trouble upon it. But all silver and gold and every vessel of, you know, bronze, okay, iron, bronze and iron, and these are holy to the Lord. So they shall go into the treasury of the Lord's. So, the people shouted, okay, the people shouted, and the trumpets were blown, the trumpets were, were blown, you know, as soon as the people, <clears throat> you know, heard the sound of it, okay, the sound of the trumpet, the people now. The people shouted a great, great shout. And imagine this, my best is the wall fell down. The wall fell down flat so that the people went up into the city. All right. So every man is straight. Every straight before him and they captured the city okay then they devoted all in the city to destruction So both men and women, you know, young and old, okay, ox oxen, the sheep, the donkeys, you know, with the edge of the sword. Imagine that. You know. My best is, by the 1830s, okay, geisha were considered to be the premier, premier fashion. And style icons in Japanese society. Okay, they were emulated by women of the time. So many fashion trends started by geisha, okay, 
soon became the trend. They became wide, widely popular. <coughs> Which I'm continuing to this, okay, to this day, as we speak, okay, the wearing of hauri, okay, by women, for example, for example, all right, was first started by Keisha people, all right, from the Tokyo, Tokyo Hanamachi, okay, of Fukagawa in the early 1800s, all right. So there were considered to be many classifications and ranks of geisha. Though some were like colloquial, you know, or closer to a tongue and cheek nicknames. Okay. <laughs> then an official ranking. All right, my besties. 
So some geisha would sleep with their customers. For this one, my best is we just have to like blend it in, okay? So whereas others would not, you go, you know, leading to distinctions, okay? Such as Kuruwa Geisha. So the Kuruwa Geisha, Geisha, who slept with customers as well as the, you know, they entertain. They sleep with them and they entertain them through performing arts. Okay. Or the Yuju, which is called the prostitute. And the Joru, they call it the whore. Jaisha, okay. <laughs> so, who's only entertainment for male customers? You know, was sex and like, you know, machi, uh, machi geisha. Okay, who did, who did not officially, you know, officially end in like reality sleep with men like that you know sleep with customers at all okay so this we just have to blend it in So after the war, okay, Geisha anonymously like returned to wearing the kimono, okay, kimono and practicing the traditional arts, okay, abandoning all the experimental Geisha styles of like appearance, kind of like this, okay. You know, styles of appearance and the entertainment. Alright, so this, however, led to the final blow for the profession's reputation as kind of the fashionable in wider um, sense, in wider society. So... Though the geisha, okay, they did not, like, experience the rapid, excuse me, the rapid, like, decline, decline, okay, and eventual, like, death, you know, that courtesans experience, you know, like the courtesans had experienced in the previous century. Okay. So they were instead rendered as protectors, okay, of the tradition. Okay, this is in favor of like preserving the image, the image of Geisha, you know. The image geisha, you know, had cultivated over time. Okay. So my best is following the introduction of the um, prostitution prevention. You know, they they there's a law in 1956. Geisha benefited from the official like criminalization of practices, okay? <sighs> Such as the Mizwage, it is a practice that had at times, you know, been like <clears throat> undertaken coercively, okay? 
or through force. Okay, bye, Sam Maiko. Sam Maiko in most prewar, Japan. All right, remember this. So despite this, okay, the misconception of Keisha being on some level, okay, <clears throat> you know, prostitutes and of like um, Mizwagi, okay. Being a common practice. Okay, I'm gonna use this um, Juvia's Place lipstick, lip liner. I mean, so it continues inaccurately though to this day. All right, let's do this. This is Leviticus 18, 19 to 23. It says, You shall not approach a woman to uncover her naked, nakedness. Okay. Well, she is in her menstrual like period or something. Or menstrual uncleanliness. Okay. And you shall not lie like sexually with your neighbor's wife. Okay, you shall not lie sexually with your neighbor's wife and, and so, okay, make yourself unclean with her. So you shall not give any, any of your children to offer them, okay, to Molech. And so profane the name of your God. Okay. I am the Lord. You shall not lie with a male. Okay. As with a, a woman. It is. It is, it is an abomination. Okay. And you shall not lie with any animal, okay? And so make yourself unclean with it. All right, so this is the... So it's also said there, it says, Neither shall any woman, okay? A woman give herself to an animal to lie. With it, it is perversion. All My best is Corinthians 6, 9. Or do you not know? It says there that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. I will add this Juvia's place. So this is the cherry love. It says do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, okay? Not adulterers, adulterers, okay? Nor men 
who practice homosexuality. The Lord said, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting or eternal life. You see, my best is, For God did not send His Son into the world, to condemn the world but in order okay in order that the world might be you know might be saved through him might be saved through Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior All right, my best sister, we're just gonna add our eyelashes, okay? And then I will show you the final makeup look. All right, my best is so the geisha people, they put their, um, their blushes on their cheeks, not on their... Oh yeah, cheeks supposed to be, but it's super, super like high. So that's what we are going to do. They put it like around their eyes almost right here. See? Right there. So now my best is take no normal uh, makeup. We use this part for like highlighter. Like that. Now we're just gonna add highlighter, okay? Gonna use this Danessa Merix, okay? And just add highlighter just right there. All right, my besties, so this is the final makeup look. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, share, and comment below. And I will see you all next time. God bless. Thank you.
Thank you.